The spouse is seeking for your attention. Your spouse is seeking for your attention. Shalom, the Lord graciously bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. If this is your first time joining us, the Lord graciously bless you. This is a specific word. It is not for everybody. So I do encourage you to take words like this in prayers and for confirmation. And to those that this word concern, is, it is about time you start focusing on the things you are believing and praying to God for. It is about time you let go of certain things so the Lord can bless you with something new. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I celebrate your holy name. I thank you for your children on the other side of the screen as they are gathered here today. Whatever is stopping them from reaching their blessings, whatever is stopping them from receiving a renewal in their lives from you, O King of Glory, we set them apart from it in the mighty name of Jesus. May their going out and coming in be protected and may they be guided in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen. This word is specific once again. It is not for everybody. So I do encourage you to take it to the Lord in prayers and for confirmation. There is somebody you dwell so much in your past that it blinds, blindsides you so much that you miss the things that God has in front of you. God has somebody special, somebody that he wants you to do life with somebody that will hold your hand somebody that will be your peace but you have decided to dwell so much in your past that you cannot see the new things that god has in front of you and in order for you to see the new things that the lord has in front of you you are going to have to let go of the past today's word is coming from isaiah 43 from verse 18 to 19 it says Forget the former things and do not dwell in your past. For I am doing a new thing. The Lord says you should forget the past. The past relationship that might have caused you so much hurt that did not simply work out. Forget about all these things and stop dwelling in your past because he is doing a new thing in your life. He is bringing somebody new and different in your life. But in order for you to see this blessing that God has for you, you have to forget about the past. You have to let go of the past. You have to cleanse yourself from the past, which this video simply relates to the one I posted earlier. Stop dwelling in your past. Stop relying on your past so much so that it is making you miss the blessings that God has in front of you. It is making you miss the new things that the Lord is about to show you to. The Lord is about to bring forth to you. Passage simply telling us that God is bringing new hope, encouragement, and that we should not dwell in our past. We should forget about our past. We should forget about the difficulties we had to go through in our past. Because God is bringing a new hope. God is bringing a new blessing. God is bringing something that is meant for you. Okay, so if you are not with somebody today and you keep thinking about that relationship and how much effort and work you have put into that relationship, it is time to let go of it. It is time to let go of it because it simply tells you that it was not meant to be. Because if it is something that God wanted for it to be, you would have still been with each other. This person wouldn't have left you. Or that problem wouldn't have occurred to the point where the two of you decide to go your separate ways. If it didn't work out, then it simply wasn't your husband. If it didn't work out, then it simply wasn't your wife. That simply tells you that the Lord has something better for you. The Lord has somebody for each and every single one of us out there. God has something for each and every single one of us out there. I have a co-worker here with me. I actually took her permission before sharing her story, although I'm not mentioning names. She, I don't know if I've met, told you guys this story before, but she was in a very, very serious relationship. A very serious relationship and she was engaged to this person. But this relationship was simply one-sided. She would leave Knoxville, Tennessee to Atlanta, Georgia every weekend. She would travel every weekend. She would travel every weekend to see this person. And this individual is not putting in the same energy, the same love, the same 
strength or effort to come over here to see her. He was not doing any of that, but she was all, oh, she was in it with full sweet all oh, her mind her heart she was in it full swing she will even haul her daughter down with her just so you know there is they get to meet they get to sit together they get to spend time together she will put in that effort and the lord has his way of doing things okay because in as much in as much as we could see all the red flags and tell her that it doesn't have to be you, you, you alone, putting so much effort into this relationship, traveling every weekend with your child to go see this man. It doesn't have to be you. This person can also come up here and visit you. But she was so blindsided with love that she did not see all these things. As time went by, things start unfolding. God is wonderful because he takes time to show you what you have decided not to see. Because a lot of people say love is blind. When you're in love, you tend to ignore all the red flags. You tend to ignore all the flaws of this person. And of course, we are not perfect. Everybody has a flaw. But there's just some certain things that speaks for itself. Okay. And long story short, they decided to, she decided to end things because she found out the reason why he wasn't putting that much effort to come over here and see her was because he had somebody else behind her back. She loved her, no doubt, but the other person he was with was for money. And life doesn't work that way. God doesn't want your love to be shared. God does not want you to put in effort. It has to be equal it has to be reciprocated and now when she came to work the reason why i'm saying this story is because she she when she comes to work she would cry she took two weeks off just to get over the things and pull herself together and there are times where she would just weep she was so sad i was like don't dwell in the past god has something better in store for you if it didn't work out it wasn't meant to be but of course at that point she doesn't want to hear anything like that because she is hurt she is hurt and she's, she had made up her mind not to get married. But this person was somebody she loved so much that she was willing to settle down with. And the person did her the way he did. So she decided that she will not involve herself in relationships or anything like that. But guess what? Guess what? The Lord has blessed her with a loving and caring person. Somebody that talks to her. Somebody that wants to you know, do things together. Somebody who wants to go to the movies with her. Somebody that wants to come over and spend time with her, which is what she never did experience in her previous relationship. And all these things started happening when she finally did decide to let go of the past, to not dwell in the past anymore, to let go because she finally accepted that God had something better for her. It is the same for you. I don't know what happened in your past or what you've been through in your past, but it is time to put that behind you because God is about to start doing new things in your life. God is about to start changing your situation. God is that God is is about to start building and molding a new you. Your, your spouse can be ready right now, but the simple fact that you're still dwelling in your past, we kind of links you with a negative soul tile. It blocks your spouse. It blocks your spouse from actually crossing path with you, from actually meeting you, because this is what God has for you, and the Lord wants it to happen at the right time in the right way, at the right manner. Stop dwelling in your past because all that does is it only pushes you behind, it only brings you behind. So you need to start praying. I want you to open your mouth right now. Let's make a prayer together. I want you to open your mouth right now and let's pray. Say, Lord Jesus, please, whatever I have in my heart, in my mind, from my past, Cleanse me, O oh God. Make a new path for me. Make a new me in the mighty name of Jesus. As you open up your heart and you make this prayer with a clean sleep and an open mind, God will do it for you in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord will do it for you, child of God. You just have to believe. Let go of that past, that past hurt, that past relationship, that past... Because a lot of people tend to... With, According to what my co-worker was, her main problem was her time that she 
put into this relationship, her effort that she put into this relationship, she couldn't let go of that. She feels like she wasted her time. But God actually uses the wrong people to bring us closer to the right one. So when we have the right people, we will know how much value to place on them or how much you deserve. When God brings you the right one that treats you right, that takes care of you, that loves you, it tends to make you understand how much you deserve. For you are a child of God and you deserve nothing but the best. The Lord bless you, keep you. Because it's amazing countenance to shine on you. Always remain blessed. If you haven't given the video a thumbs up yet, kindly go ahead and do so. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. The Lord bless you, keep you. May he be gracious to you. I will see you next time. Always remain blessed. Bye-bye.